welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and this is Stephanie Plans and Reads. And in this channel, we're going to talk about all things planners, planning, stationery, and occasionally I'll talk about some of my favorite books. But for this video, my very first video, I thought I would introduce myself. And by introducing myself, I would go through some of my current planners and talk about what I'm using, how they're working for me, and whether or not I plan to take them into 2024. So here are my planners. I have three, um, all Hobonichi this year. Uh, first is my A6 Hobonichi planner. This is the English version of the Techo um, that was designed for the English market so it doesn't have the bullet points here, the check, check boxes up here, um, and it's all black um, except for the Sundays. And in this planner I use uh, to practice my hand lettering and mainly journal or put down quotes that I find interesting, thoughtful, uh, and just kind of experiment with my inks and my hand lettering. I really like this book. I like, I didn't think I would like the size, but um, I put in the Coffee Monsters Co. tabs um, at the top and at the side, uh, and I really enjoy it, and I probably will find some way of making an A6 work for me next year. And yeah, just putting random journal um, and hand lettering in that. The second one I got, um, a Hobonichi Weeks. I wanted to try out Hobonichi. This is the first Hobonichi that I bought. And I bought this one because it was the cheapest uh, Hobonichi that I could find. So purple wouldn't have been my favorite choice for a cover, but this is what was on sale. Um, this is the Mega, so you get some extra journaling pages or blank pages at the back. Um, I'm sure you've seen this. I, I don't know what to say about this. I like this. I like the idea of it more than the ac execution. What it ended up happening for me was I tried to put my kind of on the go plans in here and maybe make some notes um, as well for like meetings or things like that, but I just didn't like it. It wasn't, didn't stay pretty. And then I was fine with that. I was gonna make it not pretty, um, you know, keep it not pretty. And that's what I've kind of done. I've used the, a lot of the empty pages, the blank pages at the back, but I don't think I would need a mega because I'm only on page 85 and um, there's 218. Um, but I think that this might be good for, and this is what I've been using it recently for social media. So I kind of plan out what I'm going to do in my, my socials and I also make any scripts or notes that I want to make about a video, I'll put it in here. So this is what I've been using um, for this year. I'm not so sure. I I have more information coming about planners that I think I might take into 2024. Um, and I'm not sure whether or not this is going to make the cut, but that is my weeks. My last one is my my different planner communities call it different things. My catch-all, my everyday carry, the thing that I can't live without if I was, you know, going to have to evacuate because of fire, I would need to take this planner. So this is my Hobonichi Cousin. It has all of my plans, everything is in here. Um, and I really enjoy it. This is the current week that we're on. I love planning with stickers. Um, I tend to use this as a combination planner slash 
I wouldn't say memory keeper, but because I, I don't need to re be reminded that I cleaned the house on Sunday. But it does just give me a sense of what I spent my time on. Um, and also helps me remember things. So I might want to remember um, that I did a certain thing on a certain day. Um, largely, you know, financial things, bills, things like that. I might put it in here to remind myself that I had done it. Um, then in the dailies, I've used these in a couple of different ways. So I tend to um, use them for gratitude, a review of the day, and also a to-do. So um, I'll show you an example of today. So today I have put different gratitude things. I've had a small to-do list it's Saturday so I don't have much to do and then at the end of the day I'm going to kind of write a reflection that's the way I've been using it most of the time occasionally um, I have used it for pen tests or just kind of notes about what I want to do um, on Instagram what I want to do 2024 planners things like that so I have made um, use of some of them are not very uh, nice to look at but I have you made use because I didn't start this planner until the end of February so I have a lot of pages in the month of January and February that I can just use as notes pages um, and then uh, I'm gonna keep going along with the kind of highlights um, gratitude and a brief to-do list I tried putting the to-do lists in my weekly. Um, I think I did some here, for example, but I I don't like them here. I like, because if I'm looking at this day um, and seeing all the to-do lists, I, I'm very easily distracted by the rest of the stuff that I have to do in the week. So I put it, putting it on its own day, then I'm only looking at the one day, maybe the next day, and just kind of finishing um, out this to-do list and not having to worry about this one or the ones following. So these are the planners that I'm using in 2023. I, if this is always subject to change, always uh, potentially changing, so I, please do not hold me to it. Um, I will be making future videos about, um, I have a couple coming up. One is about my 2024 plans and another about all the planners I've used in my life because I have been a planner for a very long time. So if you like what you see and are interested in seeing more, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.